the Hezbollah terror organization in Lebanon has been escalating its attacks against Israel. Since deciding to join the war that Hamas started on October 7th, Hezbollah has fired over 5,000 rockets, anti-tank missiles, and explosive UAVs from Lebanon at Israeli families, homes, and communities. Hezbollah's increasing aggression is bringing us to the brink of what could be a wider escalation, one that could have devastating consequences for Lebanon and the entire region. Hezbollah is jeopardizing the future of Lebanon so that it can be a shield for Hamas, a shield for the Hamas terrorists, the one that murdered the elderly, raped women, burned children, and kidnapped Jews, Muslims, and Christians during their massacre on October 7th. When we say that we will not let October 7th happen again on any one of our borders, we mean it. Because of Hezbollah's refusal to comply with UN Security Council Resolution 1701, because of Hezbollah's military infrastructure, weapons, and fire at Israel from the area south of the Litani River in southern Lebanon, and because of Lebanon's failure to enforce 1701 on Hezbollah, Israel will take the necessary measures to protect its civilians until security along our border with Lebanon is restored. One way or another, we will ensure the safe and secure return of Israelis to their homes in northern Israel. This is not up for negotiation. Iran's terror proxies continue to drag the region to destruction. Israel will continue fighting against Iran's axis of evil on all fronts, in Gaza, in Lebanon, in other fronts, as we work towards a more secure future for the entire Middle East. October 7th cannot, will not happen again on any one of Israel's border. Israel has a duty to defend the people of Israel. We will fulfill that duty at all costs.